Hello everyone. Um, to anybody who expects me to be talking about gaming this time or who does not want to be offended in any way, shape, or form, I would click out of this video right now. Now to begin. Yes, I've heard of that Robin Williams died. You know what his death amounts to? Supreme sadness to those who loved him. Sadness for those who watched his movies, which will eventually fade in a couple of days. And obsessive um, sadness for those who are well obsessed with him and will cry and bitch over the internet until eventually that fades. Which will lead to weeks of news coverage of investigation of his death, which will lead to Robin Williams' movie marathons, which will lead to nothing but the occasional blurb on said investigation, which will lead to one or two year of anniversaries of his death to, market, to make money off his death and show, once again, more Robin Williams' movie marathons, until eventually, he is as forgotten as Whitney Houston, except in video, except in Jeopardy trivia. Now, why so dark and grim? I had an interesting conversation. A few things to think about. About life. About amounting to something. About being remembered. And I thought about it, and I had this conversation because, well, one of my uh, so one of my uh, coworkers had a son. You know, he's a gamer. He doesn't game much anymore. And we had a discussion. I know I'm. You know what? Just get. Let's just get into it. Essentially, I don't believe in striving to be remembered. I don't believe into amounting your life into anything. I believe it's stupid to suffer to, to, for an achievement, like an actual life achievement. Because in the end, <laughs> as the song goes, it doesn't even matter. Because once you die, that old phrase that everybody says comes in, is that you're too dead to care. Yeah, pretty much. Basically, that's what I pretty much told him. Because I don't see why I need to go through the extra mile to amount to anything if I'm happy the way I am. He tells me that I should do other things. I should do more things than just game. That, oh, I just haven't done a lot of things outside the house. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't really care. I've done things outside the house. I've been to Disney World. I've been to theme parks. I've been to the mall. I've done all that shit that other people seem to enjoy to do. And I simply don't enjoy it. And I don't see why I have to expand my horizons and even visit other places around the world if, if it's just a waste of money. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of time. And it doesn't make me happy. So what I'm getting to is this. Why should I suffer through all that if I'm happy the way I am? The w that way when I'm old, I, instead of looking back and like, oh man, all I've done with my life is gaming. I've wasted my life. I can look back and say, oh man, all I've done is gaming. Oh yeah. Because that's what made me happiest the most. That's what makes me happy. Is gaming, watching TV, you know, just doing, just eating shit. Just that. That's what makes me happy. And then he goes, and so you don't even want a kid or anything? God, no. Why the fuck would I want a kid? You know what, having a kid, you know what, being a parent, I think, and if anyone wants to tell me I'm wrong, go ahead. I will, you know, critique is fine. Just as long as you're not saying, oh my God, how can you say those things? That's retarded. Okay, basically this. Most people who have a kid, it's because of either basic instinct, a chemical in their brain for them wanting a kid or because they want their kid to be like them or to do the thing they were never able to do. They want to project themselves onto kids to achieve things that they were never able to achieve or just want to relive the moment of seeing their kid achieve what they achieved. Or there's those people who want to raise kids and raise them to not be like them. That's depressing. The fact that you have to raise your, that you want a kid to raise your kid to be different from you means you did not like your life. 
And you know what? In the end, that mean that's gonna amount to jack shit. Because yeah, that kid is an adult. He grew up differently than you did, but um, there's still that shit person that you didn't want to be, but you wanted your kid to be different. Doesn't change anything. Good job. And then there's like, and then he went on to say, like, don't you at least want to be remembered? Like, why? Like I said, I'll be too dead to care. And how long will I be remembered? For how many generations? For how many years? Eventually, you will be forgotten. Eventually, you will be nothing. And for the people who are remembered, and this goes to George, this even goes to George Washington, you are remembered so you can be a blurb in a history book. You can be remembered as a straw man for your little argument, like George Washington, do, do, do. Or you'll be remembered for, once again, trivi trivia for Jeopardy. You gotta win those big bucks. No, I don't want that shit. I don't care about being remembered. I don't care about amounting to some big thing that in the end will mean nothing because I'm dead. All I care about is living my life happily and being happy. Because in the end, shouldn't that, isn't that, isn't that what matters? Isn't that, shouldn't that be the thing that matters? Is what makes you happy all throughout life? That, that right there. And then, oh God, this really pissed, this, 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 he's like, don't you at least want a son? I mean, you can have him game with you or something. I'm like, yep, I'm going to have a son for the sole purpose of having a gaming partner. Really? Really? Kind of pathetic if you don't, if you ask me that I'm that depressed that I need to make a child just for that. That is retarded. In any case, I don't know why I wanted to state my opinion. I guess I just did. I guess I just wanted to stir things up a little bit. Um, in case this comes up, what do I see as marriage? I don't fucking give a shit about marriage. If I love somebody, I love somebody. And if they love me, they love me. That's great. That's awesome. Marriage is just a creation of fucking religion. And fucking law stupid shit. The only reason I would get married is to use for my own benefit and for the person I love to use to their own benefit. Of course, there would be no fucking marriage ceremony either. We'd just be in, go in, get the paper, boom, we're married. That's it. That's all I fucking care about. <coughs> of course, this wouldn't also come with a prenup just in case things go sour. For whatever, whatever reason, I don't get fucking screwed out of less than nothing. That's fucking retarded. You don't go into a marriage without a prenup. But if everything goes well, that should never happen. If you truly love that person, and that person truly loves you, what the fuck is marriage but a paper? What the fuck is marriage but some stupid fucking tradition that's been carried for generations over a fucking religion that you fucking don't even fucking believe in? I don't know. That's just how I feel. So, there you go. That's that's all I have to say. I like doing what I do, and I like being happy. I don't feel that I have to go through super ex ridiculous links and making myself miserable t to amount to something that people that people have set standards for. Nope. I got my own fucking standard. And that's just doing what I do. <laughs>